Hello friends, welcome to SQL Server video tutorial. Today we will see how to alter table structure in SQL Server. First go to SQL Server Management Studio and then connect to whatever the server that you want to use. So what I am going to show you today is uh, I have few existing table. If at all I want to add a new column or drop uh, a column from the table then how can I do this? This is what I will show you today. Here in example database, I have two tables, class and student. In class table, I have two columns, class ID and class teacher ID. Uh, let's say I want to add a new column. So this is how I can do it from the user interface. That is right click on the table and click on modify. You will get the screen. Here you can add whatever the column name that you want to give. Here I am giving class representative ID. This is a new column that I am adding here. So since IDs are generally integer data type, I am giving it a small int. After giving these details, that is uh, column name and data type, you can save it by clicking the save button. Let's refresh this table. That is click right click on the tables and refresh. Then see whether class table have this column added or not. See. As you can see here, class representative ID is added. This is how you can do, uh, you can modify that is, uh, you can add or delete columns uh, using the inter user interface. Now I'll show you how can we add or delete columns using the command. So click on new query and this is a syntax for adding a new column in SQL Server that is alter table table name if you are adding use the keyword add add column name and the data type now i'll show you an example here that is i want to add uh, another column that is class teacher name to class table so this is how i'll do it alter table table name that is class add column name that is class teacher name since name is uh, character data type, I am giving the data type as char of 20. I will execute this statement. This command is executed successfully. Let's see if this column is added or not. Click on data, uh, tables refresh. Then see whether class table have this column added or not class teacher uh, name column is added here uh, let's say we have another scenario wherein I don't want this column to be present in my table so how can we delete the column we'll see the command for this that is alter table table name drop column column name that is very simple syntax So since I already have the teacher ID in class table, I don't want to um, add teacher name again. I'll maintain teacher details in some other table. So I don't want to give the class teacher name and ID to different columns here. So I want to drop class teacher um, name column here. So what I'm doing is alter table, table name, drop column, column name that is class teacher name. This command is also executed successfully. Again, uh, I'll refresh the tables and I'll see if this column is deleted or not. Refresh and then I'm checking the tables here and columns. See, class teacher name column is deleted. This is how you can alter the table. Though we can alter the table using the user interface, it's uh, mostly preferred to alter the table from the query window thanks thanks for watching my videos